Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and richpigsdaily.com where you can join the club and you can win. I got a new pick for you, symbol ROOF, R-O-O-F in Canada. I don't believe they're listed anywhere else yet, but if they do get listed, we'll let you know first. We're going to go do an overview on them today. We're going to look into them today. We're going to look at the share structure. We're going to look at their assets. We're going to look at any possible liabilities, if they have any. We're going to look at their entire deck. We're going to look at their press releases. We're going to look at the stock. Let's take a look at it right now. Now, hey, I must remind you guys, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. In saying that, we think this is a company that no one's ever talked about. So it's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. That's why we do these videos so you can learn about it first. Now, I must remind you guys that it really helps these videos when you smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. So every time we have a new breaking news, new picks, CEO interviews, you'll know first. All right, let's take a look at Roof. All right, so we're going to share the screen right here, and we're going to get right into it. All right, so Roof is called North Star Clean Technologies. That's right. North Star Clean Technologies is a Vancouver-based clean technology company focused on the recovery and repurposing of single-use asphalt shingles. North Star has developed a proprietary design process at its Empower facility in Delta, British Columbia for taking discarded asphalt shingles, otherwise destined already over for already overcrowded landfills and extracting the liquid asphalt aggregate and fiber. These three repurposed products can be used in a variety of applications, including road asphalt, asphalt shingles, construction products, and other industrial applications. This is a very unique company. I haven't seen too many companies doing what they do. That's why I think they have a chance to be very special. So what is North Star Clean Technologies mission? Our mission is to be the leading asphalt shingle material recovery provider in North America, extracting 99% of the recovered components from single use asphalt shingles that would otherwise be sent to a landfill. Our clean technology solution is expected to have a significant impact on the environment by reducing landfill usage, reducing the CO2 impact of liquid asphalt, fiber, and aggregate production, and contributing to the circular, circular economy. We expect that our repurposed products will meet the robust and growing market demand for our products. We anticipate that this will help us generate long-term returns for our stakeholders. All right. And you can see all the areas of focus, clean technology, proprietary design process, offtake agreement in place, fully constructed facility, expansion opportunities, leadership expertise, supportive environment, strong commercial model, and the market opportunity is a 2 billion North American market with limited proven processing alternatives. Let's see all the details right there. The offtake agreement in place is an offtake agreement signed with multinational construction materials company for a 100% of oil production. So you can read all the areas of focus and expansion opportunities, expansion opportunities throughout Canada and the United States. Fully constructed facility, Empower facility in Delta with steady state production expected in Q4 2021. You can see the team here. I've also interviewed Aiden Mills, who's the chief executive officer. Stay tuned to that interview. So big team with years and years and years of experience. You can see their board of directors who has significant strategic, commercial, operational, and capital markets experience. And you can see here, the limited processing solutions for asphalt sink shingles. 80%, 84% of homes in the United States are roofed with asphalt shingles. 12 million tons of asphalt shingles 
are sent to landfills in the US annually. So there's a huge opportunity here for investors because most of the homes in North America do have, 84% of homes have asphalt shingles. 83 million single family homes in the United States. Wow, it's a big number. 84% of which are roofed with asphalt shingles annually. The average house in the United States has 2,000 square feet of roofing, generates 5,000 pounds of asphalt tear off, where 10% is reclaimed for asphalt repaving. And the real focus here with this company is asphalt shingles. The most popular roofing material in North America is asphalt shingles. The durability, reliability, and economical performance of the asphalt shingle makes it the most popular roofing material in North America. Asphalt is petroleum-based energy intensive to produce and scores very low on an environmental scoreboard. Once the asphalt shingles are worn out, it is a major problem to dispose of them in an environmentally friendly way as they do not as they do not biodegrade or decompose in a landfill. This presents a unique opportunity to divert the materials from landfills and extract the bitumen, oil, fiber, and aggregate for repurposed usage in new asphalt shingles, asphalt for road construction, construction products, and other industrial applications. So what I want to do is I'm going to go through some of their news. Before I go back to all of this, I want to go through some of their news and I want to look at their stock price. So first and foremost, we're just going to look at the stock price right now. You can see here that it's actually been as high as 54 cents in August. I'm going to mark that zone. All right, we'll just mark that zone with a horizontal line. You can see their high, high. And I always like to identify the low, low. So you can see here for roof, this is the six month chart. If we do the one year chart, kind of looks the same. It's only been around since... July. So this has been around since July, the high is 54 and the absolute low is 32 and we're right at 33 and a half. So we're really close to the all time low. So as an investor, this is probably a good entry point based on what it's done previously. And based on the fact that it is really a growing company, I think that these prices are definitely based on the chart, definitely a good entry zone. Okay. Can't guarantee it. Past performance is not an indication of future results, but you can clearly see how this trended up from the bottom to the top on August 23rd, and then did the exact same thing down all the way up to where it is now. And typically, you know, what companies do is they make these moves up, they make these moves down. And then if they are a growing company with big news, they'll then make another big move back up. So for investors, this might be the time to really position yourself. I'm going to circle the zone here. So we really believe that this is a decent buy zone based on the chart. All right, so we're going to go through some of the news. You can see here, developed a proprietary design process technology to break down the components of asphalt shingles. This is the website, North Star Clean Technologies. And you can see all the different areas of focus. You can just click on them and learn everything about it. You can hit subscribe. I'll hit subscribe right now. And you can sign up for their email. I'll do that right now. Here we go. And sign up. All right, and all the traffic singles, signals. And verify, boom. All right, so I've subscribed. And this is their website. You can see their commercial production facility and their expansion facilities, plan phase. This space breaks down all their different locations. You can see all the press releases and fact sheet. Let's just click on fact sheet. All right, so this breaks down all the key areas of focus. We went through a lot of this. So we'll just talk about the investor highlight. So proven clean technology, environmentally friendly processing solution for single use asphalt shingles, proprietary design process, proprietary design process to recover the components of shingles, market opportunity, 1.35 billion market in Canada alone, and limited proven processing alternatives 
offtake agreements in place, signed a 100% of liquid asphalt production, fully constructed facility, Empower facility, steady state production in Q4 2021, low CapEx, national rollout, expansion opportunities through Canada and the United States, supportive environment, current macro and political environment is supportive of circular economy options, strong commercial model, rising tipping fees and demand for high quality repurposed products, and five stream revenue model includes inputs, tipping fees, outputs, liquid asphalt, fiber, aggregate, and potential carbon credits. You can see the leadership team, which we already talked about, and global commitment to net zero emissions, 95% of S&P 500 companies publishing sustainable reports, 100 countries that have pledged to reach net zero by 2050. The Net Zero Asset Managers Initiative, US 43 trillion of assets under management, targeting net zero emissions by 2050, and 128 asset managers signed on since December 2020. And you can see their facility in Delta. And it is a proprietary clean technology facility, our bitumen extraction and separation technology best utilizes use a proprietary process to separate the liquid asphalt, fiber, and aggregate components. The process is patentable, and we have met with patent attorneys to discuss the filing of a process patent. Common everyday uses of our products include the following roads, highways, driveways, parking lots, aircrafts, and defense manufacturing, boats and watercrafts, shingle manufacturing, road construction, and embankment construction. And you can see the delivery of strategic next steps engineering design study, undergoing RFP process to engineer the process design expected to design a more efficient, optimally designed and engineered facility that can be rolled out into all key market jurisdictions, market analysis, evaluating and conducting a large market analysis recently engaged with Wellington DuPont Public Affairs to support in potential non-dilutive funding opportunities for each target market and a CO2 footprint assessment, conducting environmental analysis to quantify the significant environmental advantage over virgin production of asphalt, fiber, and aggregate, evaluating possibilities for CO2 credits to customers. So you can see their proprietary process, asphalt shingles, grinding, processing, and then separation. What are the revenue streams? Tipping fees, liquid asphalt, fiber, aggregate, and carbon credits. And you can see near-term catalysts. So we always want to know what the catalysts are. Near-term catalysts, Q4 2021, which we are in right now, complete independent CO2 footprint assessment, Q4 2021, steady state production at Empower facility. Then moving into Q1 2022, complete independent engineering design study, Q2 2022, commercial production at the Empower facility. Going into the second quarter of 2022, begin construction on expansion facility. And in Q1 or first half of 2023, commercial production at expansion facility. So we always like to understand the share structure, common shares, 106 million, 5.4 million options, 17.5 million warrants, 2 million broker warrants, 5.7 million Empower warrants, common shares, fully diluted, outstanding, 136.7 million. Share price as of October 14, 2021 was 38 cents, now at 33. So it's even lower since they put this together. And market cap of 40 million and market capitalization fully diluted of 52 million. You can see the shareholders, basic, not fully diluted. IPO investors own 33%. Insiders own 19%. So they got some good skin in the game. And pre-IPO investors own 48% of the basic shares. So that is the fact sheet. Those are the key facts. 
This is the stock and what the stock looks like. And let's just take a look at some of the news. So some of the recent news that came out on September 17th, Northstar commenced process with independent engineering firms to advance its national rollout strategy for single use asphalt shingle repurposing facilities. I'm not gonna go through all the news, I'm just gonna read all the headlines. And Northstar Clean Technology virtually opens the market on September 17th. So just recently opened up trading. And you can see Northstar engages Wellington DuPont public affairs to lead government engagement on the reduction of single use asphalt shingle disposals into landfills. And you can see Northstar produces liquid asphalt, fiber and aggregate in small batch commissioning runs and receives preliminary testing results from third party independent lab. So this is not just a company that has a chance to grow, but this is a company that's also very green. Northstar appoints Aiden Mills, who I've interviewed, stay tuned to that interview as new CEO and announces grant of stock options. So that was the basic news. Now let's just go back to the deck. So the circular economy focuses on solutions that are invaluable for people, give businesses a competitive edge and are regenerative for our world. Circular economy, an economy system that tackles global challenges like climate change, biodiversity loss, waste and pollution, most linear economy businesses take a natural resource and turn it into a product, which is ultimately designed to become waste because of the way it has been designed and made. The circular economy aims to redefine growth, focusing on positive society benefits. It entails gradually decoupling economic activity from the consumption of finite resources and designing waste out of the system. It is based on three principles. One, design out waste and pollution. Two, keep products and materials in use. Three, regenerate natural systems. Designing products and solutions that can be made to be made again. And you can see here, 2018 advancing towards zero waste declaration. 23 global cities committed to C40s 2018 declaration. 50% plus reduction of municipal solid waste disposed to landfills by 2030. And 87 million tons of waste disposal to be avoided by 2030. And you can see here that 23 pioneering cities and regions including New York, London, San Francisco, Dubai, Tokyo, Sydney, Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver, and we're in Vancouver, committed to significantly cut the amount of waste they generate, accelerating them on the path towards zero waste. By signing C40s, advancing towards zero waste declaration, these cities and regions have pledged to the following by 2030 versus 2015. Number one, cut the amount of waste generated by each citizen's 15%. Number two, reduce the amount of waste sent to landfills and incineration by 50%. Number three, increase the, diversive, the diversion rate by 70%. All right, and let's take a look at the revenue model. So this is really key for investors understanding how the company makes money. So input revenue, tipping fees, stream one, goes into asphalt shingles, that goes into grinding, processing, and separation. And then the outputs from that are liquid asphalt, and that runs into output revenue through asphalt sales, fiber, which turns into fiber sales, and aggregate, which turns into aggregate sales our three-tiered revenue model with inputs, outputs, and carbon credits delivers five revenue streams. And the carbon credits, which is stream number five, significant upside over time from number one, price of carbon credits, number two, sales price of green renewable asphalt, and number three, increased tipping fees. So potential non-dilutive funding avenues and strategies, supporting expansion plans across Canada. The government of Canada's recent investments in clean technology sector 
has and will continue to present several opportunities for North Star to submit applications to programs and services to advance clean technology products in Canada, business scale-up programs, government grants for technology innovation, Canadian government funding, and provincial and municipal grants, and economic development funding. You can see here WD has experience in successfully guiding clients through the bureaucratic processes of application preparation for calls for, pro for proposals and government grants, and will assist Northstar in developing project proposals that effectively target government priorities and program objectives. WD will facilitate meetings with government department officials, ensuring funding applications meet all technical requirements and guide communication to address the goals of each funding program in an efficient manner. In addition to the initial target list of government programs, the implementation of WD government relations strategy will allow North Star the opportunity to work closely with municipal and provincial governments, as well as the federal government. This strategy will be with the goal to build a political profile and influence, as well as create additional long-term opportunities for non-dilutive investments and government funding that are most beneficial for North Star's goals. Political partner, Wellington DuPont Public Affairs, political engagement federally, provincially, and municipally. North Star has engaged Wellington DuPont Public Affairs to lead government engagement on the reduction of single use asphalt shingle disposal into landfills across Canada. Wellington DuPont Public Affairs is a North American public affair firm with strong talent working closely across Canada and the United States. With offices in Washington, DC, Ottawa, Toronto, and Winnipeg, WD's approach ensures consistent and seamless results through all offices while keeping top of mind policy and regulations on both sides of the border. WT's team of trusted advisors use their combined experience in media relations, business, politics, and government to provide sound counsel and strategic advice while helping clients achieve results. WD is well positioned to offer high level counsel, including former Canadian politicians who can provide insight into the complex maze of public policy and know how to bring the different levels of government together to create and execute strategies to successfully create policy changes. You can see the delivery of strategic next steps complete engineering study to optimize a turnkey facility for deployment, analyze target markets and conduct details market analysis and conduct environmental and CO2 footprint assessment. You can see the delivery timeline in Q3 2021 listed on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange. Now we're in Q4 2021, steady state production at Empower Facility in Delta, and we went through all of this. So we're not going to go through it again. We already went through all that. And you can see North Star is the only public company focused on asphalt shingle processing. So they have a niche market. You can see some of the other companies who have different focuses, but you can see that they are completely in a niche market. Symbol Roof on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange, headquarters in British Columbia, company description, clean technology company focused on the extraction and recovery of three primary components, liquid asphalt, fiber, and aggregate from asphalt shingles that would otherwise be sent to a landfill. You can see other companies that are in the renewable energy space, but they are not focused in the area of roof, which is why I think you need to really put roof on your watch list, put it on your radar. They are unique and they are focused. You can see 24.7 million invested into the company since 2015. You can see how it's all broken down here. We went through most of this already, but you can see how it's all been broken down and you can see their cash position currently at 10.3 and debt very little at only 0 0.9. So less than a million in, in debt. The company has significant potential non-dilutive funding options, government funding via grants, loans, or subsidies, debt provision from a range of traditional and non-traditional sources. And you can see the investor highlights, clean technology, proprietary design process, 
market opportunity. We've gone through all of this before. We won't do it again. And all their contact details are there. If you'd like to get in contact with the company, feel free to get directly in contact with the company at Kin Communications Investor Relations. And that's it. You can see here the addressable market opportunity in the United States, 2.2 billion estimated market size for asphalt shingles in the United States, 600 million tons of construction and demolition debris annually, 12 million tons of asphalt shingles scrap sent to landfills annually. 5.8 million homes in the United States are re-roofed each year, three to five tons per home, $89 per ton in tipping fees in Washington state, and 25.5% increase in tipping fees since January, 2016. You can see tipping fees by region for the last five consecutive years. The Pacific region in the United States has the highest average tipping fees of 72.03 a ton. And you can see the Pacific Northeast national average of 53.72, Midwest at 47.85, and all the way down to South Central at 39.66. And tipping fees by states in the United States for the last five consecutive years, the Pacific region in the United States has the highest average tipping fee at 72.03 a ton, $72.03 a ton. And it literally breaks down Alaska, actually the highest by far, then Rhode Island, Hawaii, Vermont, and then all the way down to the national average of $53 and the lowest of $30 in Mississippi. So you can see here the flagship case study, Vancouver's role in banning materials from landfills. 480,000 single family dwellings or row home units within Metro Vancouver, 7% of roofs replaced every year within Metro Vancouver. Greenest city by 2020 mandates a reduction of solid waste going to landfills and incinerators by 50% between 20, 2008 and 2020. Limited amount of space devoted to landfill sites. 1.25 million tons of asphalt shingle scrap produced annually in Canada in 2007. 70,000 tons of asphalt shingle waste annually from Metro Vancouver. Banned from landfills, drywall, concrete metal, correlated cardboard, tires, hazardous or banned waste, and these are all the different areas of focus that are banned from landfills, buckets, drums, and other containers for liquids. And you can see the asphalt pricing market, the asphalt cement market is trading at all time highs of $891 Canadian a ton. So this is the right time to really put roof on your radar and put it on your watch list. This is the shingle composition. So you can see here 50% aggregate and grands aggregate, 24% asphalt bitumen, 4% limestone silica sand, 20% felt fiber, and 2% oil-based adhesives. And the shingle composition, this specific composition breakdown of a new asphalt shingle by weight can vary depending on the manufacturer, but most shingles are in the following range. Tear-off shingles have a higher percentage of asphalt than manufactured shingles because of the loss of a portion of the granules that are on the surface due to weathering. Over time, the effects from weather reduce the limestone and gradual content and increase the asphalt bitumen oil percentage by weight. And this is a comparison of primary roof shingle alternatives. 75% of all houses in North America have shingle roofs. So what are the pros of asphalt? Least expensive, long lasting up to 30 years with warranties 20 to 25 years, easy to install and repair, improve energy efficiency, resistant to algae growth, lightweight than others, fiberglass offers fire protection and broaden selection of colors. What are the cons of asphalt? Least eco-friendly option, problematic with wind damage, not as long lasting as others, hot climate, only lasts 10 to 15 years, 
temperature changes can cause cracks. And it's 100 to 150 a square foot. Metal, what are the pros of metal? Long lasting and durable, 50 to 100 year warranties, 30 to 50 years, considered eco-friendly, made from recyclable material, energy savings by reflecting solar radiant heat, keeps home cool. Options, aluminum, steel, zinc, copper, many available colors. What are the cons? Very expensive, especially copper, most expensive of all. Noisy when raining, can be dented from falling heavy objects. Replacement is very expensive, $300 to $1,800 a square foot. Wood and shake pros can last longer than asphalt shingles up to five to 10 years if properly maintained. Resistant to wind damage, one of the best insulated materials, natural beauty and design, recyclable into wood chips, mulch, or compost. And the cons, not eco-friendly, tough for self-isolation, untreated can be high maintenance, insulation faults can cause leaks, repairs can be expensive, $250 to $600 a square foot. And clay, clay pros, very durable, 50 plus years, simple to maintain, aesthetically pleasing, resistant to fire and insects, range of colors, styles and textures, tiles and recyclable. What are the cons? Expensive to install, very heavy and often requires extra framing support with higher costs, expensive materials, and 800 to 1800 a square foot. So you can clearly see that 75% of all houses in North America have shingle roofs, and these are the reasons why. So love to know what you guys think. Uh, guys, you know, when, uh, when we bring you guys a pick, we really like, and I think we take a lot of pride in breaking down the picks, understanding the fundamentals, understanding the team behind the deal, understanding the share structure, understanding the product, understanding the sector they're in, and understanding the chart. So that's why we do these overviews. I hope you like these videos. If you did, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and let me know, do you like roof? Do you own roof? Are you planning to buy a roof? And if so, why? Thank you guys for watching. I told you guys, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you winners and we bring them to you first. What do you think of roof? Put it on your watch list, put it on your radar. Your boy Rich from Rich to be live. And you can join our trading club either free, absolutely free at richpigsdaily.com or you can become, you can upgrade and become a VIP member, get access to trade ideas 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our education center, which has around 100 hours of proprietary trading, education, and so much more. Join the club. Thank you for watching. Your boy Rich at Rich TV Live. Have yourselves a great day, everybody. What do you think of Roof? I think it's a winner at a bottom. It has great upside and an incredible future. Love to know what you guys think. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And I'm out. <laughs>